It's a slow process, long anticipated. We have a very good school of engineering, but we were missing a laboratory like this where we can actually test very big objects in real life as opposed to doing it on a computer. Inch by inch, the giant heavy lift U.S. Navy chopper is moving to its new home. This laboratory is going to allow us at Vanderbilt to do experiments uh, at, a, at a full scale. The military helicopter is the first occupant of Vanderbilt's new warehouse-sized laboratory for systems integrity and reliability. We'll be able to do experiments on aircraft, um, on wind turbines, um, on full-scale systems so that we can get as close as we can to the real world, the, the realistic setting. With this real-size helicopter fuselage will come real-size testing and experiments in the 20,000 square foot lab. And that'll allow us to develop new uh, systems to improve the reliability of energy systems, transportation systems, and security systems. The test chopper will be fitted with new lighter composite materials like those being developed for airplanes. The question is, how well will that new material hold up? The challenge is that these materials don't dent like a metal, so if they, if they get struck, they won't dent. They'll have no visible signs of any damage uh, in the material. We're developing ways in which to sense if the material has been damaged so that you can reduce, for instance, the cost of maintaining the aircraft so that you can reduce the downtime of the aircraft and the cost of, of keeping the aircraft uh, up and running. Joining the helicopter is a full-scale wind turbine blade for testing. And in the future, a Hummer vehicle and more than $8 million worth of equipment will be installed in the Metro Center lab. What this means for Vanderbilt is that we will have the complete suite of expertise that will allow us to understand why material may fail or structure may fail and also prevent it. The lab is scheduled to open in mid-April. For ViewCast, I'm Barb Kramer.